This is the physiology of muscle contraction according to the sliding filament theory. First, let's orient ourselves to this image. In red, pink here, you have the myosin head as this bulbous structure, and this filament here in blue is actin. First, crossed bridges form between the myosin and actin, and they kind of connect here, allowing the filaments to slide past each other. Once the cross bridge is formed, the myosin performs a power stroke in which it kind of jerks downward, leftward, in this direction, and that causes the filaments to actually slide past each other. During this step, ADP and a phosphate group are released. Then, when you have the addition of ATP to the system, it makes the myosin head detach from the other filament. So now you're releasing the other filament. The myosin head uses the ATP to return to its erect state. It's almost like a cocked state, ready for another um, power stroke. And then once you have that ATP used up, it's then ADP and a phosphate group again, and you're able to start that cycle all over again. You form the cross bridge, you again do a power stroke, you release the ADP and the phosphate group, and a new ATP is required to reload the system.